I know the whole title of this video is super ironic and it almost seems disingenuous that I'm trying to give financial advice when I myself am not financially well off currently. I have yellow teeth and I've got colorful socks on my feet that I've been wearing for the past three days. But give me a second. I'm posting this video because I hope I never go back into the position I'm in now. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've been in a financially stable position several times and I've always fallen back into where I am at now making zero dollars a month and then somehow I spike myself back up to five thousand to six thousand dollars a month and then I find myself falling back into zero dollars a month and it's always the same reasons every time I come up to a certain point it's because I've chosen to become wealthy and every time I've fallen back down it's because I've chosen to become poor and it all boils down to the same decisions that you make every day and I mean there's been times where I'm skipping meals eating balls of bread with honey inside only having one meal a day asking friends to borrow money for groceries I don't want to be in this position anymore and that's why I'm making this video so as I was sitting on the toilet yesterday I asked myself why am I poor why do I have knots in my hair honestly that's probably just because I don't have a brush why am I poor have you ever asked yourself that question it's embarrassing imagine telling your mom and dad hey mom I need to borrow a thousand dollars because I've just been so lazy to find work and I've been eating peanut butter and bread every day for breakfast lunch and dinner how embarrassing is that mm. Okay. Why, why, why do we do this to ourselves, man? I'm asking myself, I'm not even concerned about you, I'm asking myself this question. This is why I'm making the video. You make stupid decisions constantly for three weeks, and then a few months later you're wondering why do I have no job? Because you f***ing chose it. But for now I'm just answering my own question that I've asked myself constantly the whole night last night, why? Why am I poor? Why the f*** mm. am I poor? Okay, let's look here. If you can give me a valid reason as to why you are poor, and it not being your fault, please comment it down below because I would be very intrigued as to why you're poor and the reason being is that it's not your choice. I've listed out reasons in my head as to the only reason why you can be poor not out of choice. So number one, you're living in a country, it's extremely corrupt and everybody's poor around you and you have, you have no access to the tools to become rich and wealthy. Number two, someone who's disabled and I'm not talking about someone with a broken leg, I'm talking about someone who literally can't think Number three, someone who's between the ages of zero to three. No one wants to be poor. We're all in the same boat here. We're all relating to the same thing here. Who the f wants to be poor? And what helped me get out of the position and mindset where I was making zero dollars a week is this. Ask yourself, what are your personality traits and habits that make you poor? It's so funny because I listed out all my personality traits that I have, and of course all of them just happen to be negative. I'm an overthinker, which led me to worry. I was overthinking about whether something's gonna work, whether I'm doing the right thing. I'm overthinking about whether or not the emails I'm sending are good enough, so I'll delay the process of sending the emails for days, for weeks, for years, and the worrying leads me to taking no action. You're constantly worrying about whether or not something is good enough, and then you just don't get shit done. You don't take any action. You don't take any action. And this just makes you stationary. And the next personality trait that I found out about myself is I'm a big time waster. I don't value my time enough because I spend most of my time procrastinating. If you spend one hour a day on social media, you spend 365 hours a year on social media. You do the math. If you spend 365 hours learning Tamil, you'd be half fluent at the language. And my next personality trait was that I had bad money management. There was a point where I was making $6,000 a month. That's about $1,400 a week. And with $1,400 every week, I was spending $450 to $500 on takeaway food. And then I was wondering where the f my money. And on top of that, I was spending between $200 to $250 on Uber. You can have so much more money than people who make double your income if you just learn how to save your money. This just shows that you chose to be poor, my dude. Your personality traits align with the reason as to why you're poor. What makes someone an alcoholic? They drink alcohol. Well, my camera ran out of battery. The whole reason as to why I'm making this video is not to educate people, to teach people how to make money. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to do that because I'm not experienced at it. Of course, I wish I could. If I knew all the hacks and tips on how to make money, I would tell you. I've been in the position, this position so many times where I'm not making money and it's always the same thing. I always catch myself, whenever you're in a bad position, it's because you've done bad things to lead you up to it. Now, if you are religious, I'm just, I've recently started teaching myself about Islamic laws in the Quran. If I've, I've read the English translated version, it says, what you give out, you receive. What am I saying? It is so funny that we blame everyone except ourselves for the positions that we're in. Government, Thomas Jenkins, uh, put a law in that made it impossible for me to make money. It's his fault. One of the biggest steps into overcoming any situation that you're in that you're not happy with is taking accountability that you're the reason why you're in that position. Hello. <gasps> Hello. A dog over there. Isn't this beautiful? I actually feel like Jesus. Set goals for yourself. Hey, don't set, don't, don't, don't set goals for yourself because you're just not gonna end up following them. Do you see why that makes no sense? So what helped me was setting myself a goal. Everyone can relate to setting yourself a goal and not achieving it. 
And that's a terrible feeling. No one wants to feel it. So how about this? Set yourself a goal of $5,000. My goal for August, which is in five days, is to make 5,000 Australian dollars. And I'm gonna tell my girlfriend this, I'm gonna tell my mom this, and I'm gonna tell my friends this. My goal is to make $5,000 this month. How stupid would it be if I made $0 a month? Imagine how stupid you would look if you told your girlfriend, hey baby, I'm gonna make $5,000 this month. I'm gonna take us out for a nice dinner. You know how it is. <laughs> and then you make no money. She'll probably leave you and that's props to her. That's fair enough. Set yourself a goal and tell people about it. I've told everyone my goal is to make $5,000 a month. And each month after that, I'll be making an extra $1,000, $1,000 just until I hit infinite money. Look at my yellow teeth. I had no money for toothpaste for one week. That's why my teeth is yellow. That's not true. I've had yellow teeth for a very long time because I used to gargle coffee. If I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll climb this little thing here.